Good morning, folks. As we watch plasma filaments dance around the limb, know that we've had a big quake and solar storm. We'll do El Nino updates, comet science, and more, but we begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 48 hours on our star today, so you can see the increased activity at the incoming region die out over the latter half of the sequence, the last day. We have indeed seen little bumps in the X-ray flux, but no major solar flares. The region has put out a few little CMEs, nothing major, but has definitively gone a bit quieter the last day, and the sunspots themselves have begun a minor decay. Meanwhile, the solar wind has been a different story. A density rise occurred out ahead of faster and hotter streams, which indicate a coronal hole stream impact. It was not terribly powerful, but it did give a nice whack to the magnetosphere, saw a brief low-level storm condition crop up and fade back down to stability thereafter. Opposite of stable, though, at the mantle transition zone beneath Kamchatka, where large rumble signals where the upper and lower mantle meet, is getting a bit active, 6.7. ENSO update here, we are slowly tracking into positive territory and the expert forecasted weak El Nino for the coming three to four months you can see is indeed shaping up to occur with our slow rise. Let's take a peek at comet science. Fans of electric comet theories know that the primary behavioral difference from the surface outward would be the gas emission into the coma versus production via solar wind. New paper out describing a vanishingly small gas emission at 29p meaning the iron magnesium silicate dust it's generating, and it, which is sticking around, is doing so partially for other reasons. Folks, if you want to get an idea about what sort of things are in our new textbook, this one is a cited work and probably can deliver the strongest words to begin your shift in thinking of how the sun affects the weather. The authors made it free, and that is awesome. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Lots of ways to do that, actually, and we show them here at the end, along with wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.